critical decision. The 1987 Miami vs. Florida State game was filled with thrilling scores and stellar plays. Featuring five future Hall of Famers, the matchup between Jimmy Johnson's third-ranked Hurricanes and Bobby Bowden's fourth-ranked Seminoles lived up to the pregame hype and then some. Florida State dominated early with a 64-yard run by Sammy Smith setting the tone. By the third quarter, the Seminoles built a commanding 19-3 lead, highlighted by Dane Williams' one-yard touchdown run. But missed opportunities started to haunt FSU. Kicker Derek Schmitz missed extra point and field goal would prove costly. After a blocked punt return for a touchdown, the Knolls could have sealed the game but left the door open. Miami's comeback started with Steve Walsh finding Melvin Bratton for a 49-yard touchdown, cutting the lead to 19-9. The Hurricanes followed it up with a two-point conversion. Then, a game-changing interception by Miami's Daniel Stubbs set up Walsh to hit Michael Irvin for another touchdown. A second two-point conversion tied the game at 19. With just over three minutes left, Florida State had a chance to take back the lead, but a fumbled snap deep in Miami territory handed the ball back to the Hurricanes. Then came the dagger. Walsh to Irvin, 74 yards for the go-ahead touchdown. Florida State responded with a late touchdown to pull within one, but with no overtime rules in 1987, Bowden faced a tough decision. Go for the tie or the win? Opting to go for the win, McManus's pass to Pat Carter fell short. Miami pulled off a dramatic 26-25 victory, cementing one of the greatest games in college football history. This game ignited the Miami-Florida State rivalry with national titles often on the line, but few matchups ever matched the drama of 1987.